Hello everyone. In this video, we will understand how do we solve a game of two by two size having mixed strategies. So the question is, consider the following payoff matrix with respect to player A, solve it optimally. Primarily, all the games, we will be first checking what are the row minimas. First uh, row minimas. First row, the minimum is eight. Second row, the minimum is six. And then column maxima. First column, the maximum is 10. Second column, the maximum is 12. Then we'll find out what is the maximum value. Here it is, maximum of all the row minimums. which is maximum of 8 comma 6, which becomes 8. And then minimax value, which is minimum of column maximum, here it is minimum of 10 comma 1, which is 10. So we may note that maximum value is not equal to minimax value. So we can conclude that hence this game has no saddle point, no saddle point, means both the players are adopting mixed strategies. Now, how do we proceed uh, for a two by two problem? Let us again consider the table. So we have the payoffs as 10, 8, 6, and 12. Strategy, let me put it as A1, because it is corresponding to player A. This is A2, this is B1, this is B2, because these two strategies are corresponding to player B. So the next step is to find out what is called as augment. For each row, we'll be finding out augment, and also for each column, we'll finding out we'll be finding out the augment. What is the augment for the first row? It will be the absolute difference of the second row elements. Means modulus of six minus eight. From where the six and twelve? Sorry, six minus twelve. From where the six and twelve came? From the second row elements. It is the absolute difference of the second row elements. Inside the modulus, it is minus 6, but since there is a modulus outside, it becomes positive 6. Here it is, first row elements, difference, so 8 minus 10, or 10 minus 8, which is 2. Here, second column elements, which is 8 minus 12. Here it is first column elements, 10 minus 6. So this becomes 4, this becomes 4. Now, <clears throat> We'll call this P1, P2, Q1, Q2. What is all this Q1, P2, etc.? We'll define that. Let P1, comma P2 be the probabilities. Be the probabilities of player A. 
adopting his strategies adopting his strategies a1 and a2 respectively so we are defining the probabilities as p1 and p2 similarly let q1 comma q2 be the probabilities of player b adopting his strategies his strategies b1 and b2 respectively now our uh, objective is to find out what are the values of p1 and p2 how do we do it p1 can be found as uh, the corresponding augment corresponding augment divided by sum of augments in rows means p1's corresponding augment is 6 divided by sum of the augments 6 plus 2 so that works out to 6 by 8 this can be simplified 2 3s are 2 4s are so it is 3 by 4 uh, since p1 and p2 are the only two probabilities available for player a we can say that p1 plus p2 is one sum of the probabilities is one which means P2 equal to 1 minus of P1. So on that basis here, we can find out P2, which is 1 minus of P1. That is 1 minus of 3 by 4, which is 1 by 4. Same way for Q1. Q1 is corresponding augment divided by corresponding augment divided by sum of column augments. So what is the corresponding augment for Q1? Corresponding augment is 4 and sum of the augments is 4 plus 4. So it is 4 divided by 4 plus 4 which is 4 by 8 or we can simplify that as 1 by 2. Same way here also since Q1 and Q2 are the only two probabilities for player B, sum of those two probabilities should be 1. That means Q2 should be 1 minus of Q1. So we can find out Q2 as 1 minus of Q1, which is 1 minus of 1 by 2, which is again 1 by 2. Now we can find out the value of the game. Value of the game can be found using four different formulas. Any one can be used, but I will show you all the four formulas, 10 times uh, P1 plus 6 times P2. That is one expected value function. You call it as expected value function. 10 times P1 plus 6 times P2. 10 P1 plus 6 P2. Or we can also use 8 P1 plus 12 P2. 8 P1 plus 12 P2 or we can use 10 Q1 plus 8 Q2 10 
टेन क्यू वन प्लस एट क्यू टू और वन मोर इक्वेशन इज पॉसिबल सिक्स क्यू वन प्लस ट्वेल्व क्यू टू सिक्स क्यू वन प्लस ट्वेल्व क्यू टू सो नाउ लेट अस यूज विक ईच ऑफ दिस टू चेक वेदर एवरीथिंग इज गिविंग यू द सेम रिजल्ट और नॉट टेन पी वन p1 is 3 by 4 so 10 times 3 by 4 plus 6 times 1 by 4 which is 30 plus 6 by 4 which becomes 9 let us try this 8 times 3 by 4 plus 12 times 1 by 4 which is 24 plus 12 by 4 which is also giving you 9 Here, 10 times q1, q1 is half, q2 is also half. So this becomes 5 plus 4, which is also 9. Again, here 6 times half plus 12 times half, which is 3 plus 6, which is also giving you 9. That means you can use any of the uh, four different. Uh, expected value function to solve the value of the game to find that value of the game now i can write down the optimal strategies can be presented as optimal strategies for a player a we can write it as p1 equal to Three by four, p two equal to one by four. What does it mean? If totally, if he is uh, adopting four times his strategies, three times he will adopt his first strategy, and one time he will adopt his second strategy. That is the meaning. Whereas B, he will adopt both the strategies equally because both are one by two and one by two. So that is the solution for this. so when they ask you to find out the optimal solve this solve it optimally or optimal solution means you are supposed to find the optimal strategies and also the value of the game that's the solution for this problem in case if you find the contents of this video to be useful to you i request you to please like share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel thank you